Hello, I am Dr. Sapna Maheshwari, consultant gynecologist here at Ross Hall Hospital in Glasgow. Today, I will be answering some of your most asked questions about having a hysteroscopy. If you are having this procedure in the near future or you know someone who is, I am here to provide the expert information and advice you need. Let's begin. First thing first, what is a hysteroscopy? A hysteroscope is a test to look inside a womb using a narrow telescope with a light and camera attached to the end of it. This is called hysteroscope which is connected to a larger screen that displays clear footage of inside of your womb in real time. Why might you need a hysteroscopy? There are many reasons why you may be referred for hysteroscopy such as to investigate and or treat abnormal bleeding or to remove a polyp or a small fibroid found on a scan or to insert or remove a coil. What happens during a hysteroscopy? The type of anesthetic you will be administered will depend on whether you are having the procedure as a treatment or to get a diagnosis. In some cases you can decide. If you are having a hysteroscopy to remove the uterine fibroids, you will need to be treated under general anesthetic meaning you won't be conscious throughout the procedure. To begin, you will lie on a hospital bed with your legs apart. An instrument called a speculum will be inserted into your vagina to hold it open. This is the same instrument used during a cervical screening test or a smear test. Your consultant will then carefully insert hysteroscope up into the vagina and into your womb. You might experience some cramping and discomfort as it passes through your cervix, but this won't be painful if you're having it under anesthesia. Fluid will be gently pumped into your womb and this will make the footage from the hysteroscope clearer and help your consultant see things easier. Next, your consultant will examine your womb using the monitor. If you're having a hysteroscopy to treat a condition such as a fibroid or a polyp, they will pass a specialist in surgical instrument along the hysteroscope to cut or burn away the abnormal tissue. How can I prepare for a hysteroscopy? In preparation for a hysteroscopy, you might need to have your bloods taken to check your general health before the procedure. We also ask for a urine pregnancy test in women who are not menopausal to make sure that you're not pregnant. This is because you cannot have a hysteroscopy if you're pregnant. Your healthcare team will ensure you know exactly how to prepare for a hysteroscopy. So there won't be any surprises along the way. What are the common procedures performed during a hysteroscopy? The most common procedure is an endometrial biopsy, which is a sampling from the lining of your uterus to investigate heavy bleeding, bleeding in between your periods or bleeding after menopause. Any tissue sample removed by hysteroscopy will be examined under a microscope by a pathologist who can determine whether the cells are cancerous or non-cancerous. You might need to have a polyp removed during this procedure. A polyp is a skin tag that looks like a small grape and it can be caused by an overgrowth of lining of your uterus. In other cases, you might have a small fibroid removed by hysteroscopy. Fibroids are small knots in the muscle of your uterus. They are non-cancerous. They sometimes bulge like a polyp into the uterus and can be removed by hysteroscopic technique. There are a variety of techniques that can be used to remove polyp or a small fibroid. Your consultant might use electricity or a specialist chemical to burn away the abnormal tissue. You might also have to have one or more rounds of this technique to remove the fibroid depending on its size and location. You might need a hysteroscopy to have the coil inserted, which is a small plastic device that releases the hormone progesterone, which is used either as a contraceptive or treatment of heavy periods or as a part of HRT. Sometimes a hysteroscopy is also performed to remove a coil from the uterus when the coil threads are not visible on vaginal examination. How long does the procedure take? A hysteroscopy usually takes between 15 to 30 minutes depending on your reason for having it. Is a hysteroscopy painful? Having a hysteroscopy without general anesthesia can be uncomfortable and may feel like period pain. Taking ibuprofen or paracetamol one hour before the test can help. Some people find having a hysteroscopy very painful. 
if you're worried about pain or have questions about pain relief we can discuss you being either sedated or having anesthesia for the procedure if you do feel pain during the procedure you can let us know there and then and we can stop at any time or offer you local anesthetic you may be able to have the test at a later date with sedation or general anesthetic a sedative is different from anesthesia because it does not have a numbing effect or make you unconscious it does however make you feel very sleepy comfortable and relaxed you might even fall asleep during the hysteroscopy if you are sedated can you have a hysteroscopy while on your period yes the procedure can be performed when you are on your period what are the risk of hysteroscopy the possible risks with a hysteroscopy include pain feeling faint or sick bleeding infection and rarely uterine perforation which is damage to the wall of the uterus the pain is usually mild and simple pain relief medication can help bleeding is usually light and settle down in a few days time infection is uncommon usually one in 400 women develop infection which can be treated easily with antibiotics uterine perforation is very rare this occurs when a small hole is accidentally made in the wall of the uterus which also causes damage to nearby tissue this happens in 1 in 1000 women during a diagnostic procedure but maybe slightly more if someone is having a polyp or fibroid removed at the same time if this happens then you may need to stay in hospital overnight or need a further operation to repair the hole rarely is not possible for the hysteroscope to reach your uterus because your cervix is tightly closed we will discuss alternative management if that happens how long does it take to recover from a hysteroscopy if you have had general anesthetic for the procedure you might feel tired and disoriented as you recover from the effects you will be monitored by your nurse until you're fully awake and able to eat drink and use the toilet for a few days after the procedure you will likely to feel some pain and discomfort and that is similar to period pain don't worry this is normal and can be eased with traditional painkillers for example paracetamol or ibuprofen you might also experience some spotting and even slightly heavier bleeding this is nothing to worry about and should resolve in a day or two but you should use sanitary towels rather than tampons during this time to avoid infection the time it takes to recover from hysteroscopy differs for everyone most women recover and return to their usual activities within 24 hours but some need a few days of work to rest and recover we will be able to explain your hysteroscopy recovery timeline in detail offering tailored advice about how long the process will take based on your individual needs and circumstances does a hysteroscopy look at your ovaries no with hysteroscopy we only look inside your womb and cervix which is the neck of the womb what are the next steps in your treatment plan at ross hall this depends entirely on the type of treatment you need and whether you need for the treatment at all it might be that you need no further treatment after having a polyp or a fibroid removed from your womb if you need to have a biopsy the next step is to wait for the pathology results if this determine that the growth is cancerous we can discuss the next step of your treatment journey depending on the stage of the cancer and a variety of other factors unique to your situation we can discuss your treatment plan in detail and i can arrange for you to see the best specialist for your situation including myself here at rossall so there you have it a run through of what it's like to have a hysteroscopy and why you might need this gynecological procedure if you would like to discuss having a hysteroscopy in more detail you can book an appointment with me or your nearest consultant at circlehealthgroup.co.uk we hope you find this video useful and don't hesitate to leave any questions in the comment section below